Greetings, everyone. This is your Toy Commander. And are you guys ready for today's mission? Great, so am I. Alright kids, today we are going to be doing some science experiments with Forbidden Formulas! <laughs> this is science to the max! So I saw these two packages at Target, you know in the front of the store where they have those discount bins where you can buy things for a dollar or three dollars or five dollars? Well, I saw these in some of the bins and they looked interesting and they're called Forbidden Formulas and there are six experiments in each one. Now I have some blue ones and some green test tubes. So the blue test tubes say right here, location found, it says Uluru, Northern Australia. Right here it says location found Amazon River Basin and location found is Rapa Nui Easter Island. Huh? There's a few different sayings on the side, and it says, Many have tried, few have succeeded. Will you be the one to unlock the formula? What? Ooh, sounds interesting. So here's a look at the back. So now the Mystic Crystals includes activity guide, a four ounce super absorbent jelly crystals, three true color fizzing tablets, and one plastic test tube, and they all include the ingredients for your experiment. So let's go ahead and open up these blue test tubes first and it comes with a stand. So I'm really interested to see what this is all about. These look kind of cool and like I said it was only three dollars at Target. Oh there's some tiny crystals in there. Let's take out all the contents. Activity 1 colorful crystals and on the other side it says activity 2 a rainbow roll. So which one shall we do? Let's do the colorful crystals. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is three plastic cups, paper towels, and the rest of these things. We have some crystals right here, and then we have these colored tablets. We have a blue, it looks like a red, and a yellow. So, let's start off with the first one. Fill each plastic cup with warm water. I have some warm water right here. Next, we'll need to put one tablet in each cup. Blue, yellow, and red. What we have to do now is wait for these to finish fizzing, and then we add an equal amount of crystals in each cup, and we're gonna let them sit overnight, and I guess the crystals will grow in size, and they will change color. Let's add the crystals to the water. I have an equal amount in front of each cup. Okay kids, here are some of the results of the next day. These are the crystals here. These are the super absorbent crystals, like a jelly crystal. And they've all turned different colors right here. And these crystals will absorb up to 150 to 300 times their actual size. So you remember how small they were? And look at some of the sizes of them now. They're pretty big. So for the activity number two on the crystals, the rainbow roll, it said to fill the test tube with three different uh, colored crystals and squish them all in there together for a rainbow of colors, but they keep popping out. Oops. You can play around with these and just do not flush them down the toilet or the sink. All right, dispose of them in the trash. That's very important. All right. right here we have the middle one. So the middle one is called Amazon River Basin Mysterious Water Gel. It includes activity guide five grams of water gel and one plastic test tube with lid. So let's open this one up next. So today's experiments will be the river runs DRV and the other side says no leaking. All right, let's see what we have here. Oh, we have one bag of water gel. Let's go at activity number one. Gather an audience of one or more people. Hmm, I don't see anybody around. Okay, so let's go to our number two here. It says, fill the lid of your test tube right here, half full with water gel powder, then pour the powder into the plastic cup. Now that we have a plastic cup and four ounces of water, we need to pour it in, okay? Now this experiment I hear is pretty cool because it turns into gel like right before your eyes. What? Let's fill up half the lid with the gel powder. 
That, that's about half right there. Pour our gel powder right into this cup. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour this water into the gel powder and it should solidify right before your eyes. Are you ready? Let's do it. It won't come out. It's a solid gel, isn't that cool? Come on out. Well, I'm trying to get it out. There it is. Whoa, that's a cool experiment. It's like a little gel cube. All right, that was awesome. Some Rapa Nui Easter Island activity guide. Four ounces of garbled marbles and one plastic tube with a lid. All right, let's open up this lid and see what's inside. All right. Oh, so we have all these marbles here. Okay, that's cool. Let's check out what the experiment is. So for this first experiment, it's pretty easy. We're gonna have this test tube right here. I'm gonna take some of these marbles and we're gonna pour them into the test tube and then we're gonna add some water and then we're gonna let it sit. Oh, come on, open up. And then they're going to grow right inside the tubes. They say put about 10 marbles in there, maybe there's 10 or 12, close enough. And we're also going to add some of these marbles into a cup and see the difference on how they grow in the cup and in the test tube. All right, so let's add water. Okay, so as you can see, the marbles right now are small. So when we come back, hopefully these will fill up the whole test tube and then we'll see how big the ones in here get. All right, we'll leave that for tomorrow. So these here are the next day on the Magic Marbles. Basically, guys, I don't know if you're familiar with Orbeez, but that's what it feels like. They feel just like the little Orbeez because these started out as tiny little balls like that. And then they became those giant ones because they absorbed all the water just like Orbeez. And I put some in a test tube. Whoa, look at them coming out. They expanded so they now they're rising out of the test tube. See, pretty cool, right guys? And you can have fun with the activity number two called High Flyer because these little tiny beads will bounce just like that and they absorb the energy of the bounce. See, pretty cool, right? Or you can let them dry for a few days and they'll get back down to the small size. And then when they get small, you can refill them with water again. Pretty right. cool. So many experiments. Now we're gonna go on to the green test tubes. Whoa. And that what we have here is location found Arctic Circle Ice Station Zulu. Florida Everglades in Machu Picchu, Peru. So we have supernatural snow, ghostly goo, and eerie energy beads. Let's open up this one and do these experiments. Okay, so let's open up the supernatural snow right here and it includes activity guide, five grams or 18 ounces of amazing super snow powder, one plastic test tube with lid. Here we go for supernatural snow. Woo! All right, and here's our supernatural powder right here. Let's read our first activity. So this one here comes with one, two activities, and then on the back it says a bonus activity. First, we're gonna need a plastic cup. So for a lot of these experiments, you need plastic cups. Yeah. <laughs> so activity number one is measure out one capful of the snow powder into the cup. Okay, there's one cap in the cup. Next, we'll need to fill this with two ounces of water. Here we go. Okay. Whoa, look at that. It's growing right before your eyes. And that is the supernatural snow. Pretty cool, right guys? I don't want to dump it out because it's going to make a mess, but it is pretty awesome. So for activity two, you can put this in the freezer and I guess it'll become like hard, crusty, real snow. Obviously, it's not gonna be real, but it's gonna feel real. Two more experiments. These are actually kind of fun. Here is this one called Ghostly Goo. And let me tell you about Ghostly Goo. It says, location that's in the Everglades includes one activity book, five grams of gravity goo powder, and one plastic test tube. And I'm guessing I'm going to need a cup for this one too. Yeah. All right, so let's take out our contents. And here is our Magic gravity goo powder. Huh? And then let's go to activity number one. It's called ghoulish goo. Fill one cup, yes, with 16 ounces of room temperature water. But we're gonna do that half. We're gonna do eight ounces 
and then we're gonna cut in half of the goo powder because 16 ounces was too high and it was gonna spill everywhere. So we're going to do a half of cap of goo powder. That's about half. We're gonna need two cups for this because what we're going to be doing here is adding the goo powder to the water and then we're gonna mix back and forth until it becomes gooey. All right, let's do that. All right, so there's the powder. Now let's pour and pour. You gotta keep pouring until it gets gooey. You can see that it's becoming a goo right there. Look at that. It's anti-gravity alien goo. Ugh. You can change colors. All you need to do is add food coloring to this goo. And it sits for a longer period of time. It'll get even more gooey. Make sure when you dispose of your goo, you don't throw it down the toilet or the sink because it will clog the lines and then your parents won't be happy. Oh, so no. dispose of it in a container and just throw it in the trash. that I left overnight, but this is what it looks like now. Whoa, that is super gooey right there. Okay guys, on to our last experiment in the location was Machu Picchu, Peru. This eerie energy beads includes an activity guide, eight plastic color changing beads in one cotton string and a plastic test tube and lid. Let's go ahead and check out the eerie energy beads. There's the beads and the string. All right, activity number one, bead worked. Okay, so here's the string and here are the energy beads right here. So it says carefully tie a knot at one end of the rainbow rope. Let's do that. Okay, then we slide the beads on against the knot. The last bead will keep them in place. So you can use this as a bracelet and this will glow in the dark with a black light but we don't have one here right now but if you did have one you'd see the glow of the string going through these energy beads. Super cool. This experiment is not as cool as the other ones but alright kids that's it for these videos with science to the max with the forbidden formula experiments. Some of them are cool. Some of them were okay. Don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends, and come back to Planet Zizzle to keep the missions going. This is your Toy Commander signing off, and I will see you on our next mission. It's now time for me to blast off our...